Bogdanovich and Rudy Gobert at the five for the Utah Jazz. Coming into the game with a record of 40 and 24. Damian Lillard, who wasn't 100% from the outset, in true Dane form, he's going to try to play through so much. Obviously, that abdominal just gets to a place where he's got to take care of it. I'm thrilled he did. He said teaching and competing. So even though he sort of outmanned every night, he's passionate, Mark. That's incredible to me. Numbers tell the story early. Finally, a little show and go. Kicks it back out to O'Neal. There we go. Maybe that'll get them going offensively. Royce O'Neal. His efficiency has been a little bit down of late, but his playmaking is on the right end of things. Illustration right there. That is best. The initial spacing was so good. And Portland with its second field goal. 22 years old, a rookie. How about your first NBA start? You go for 27. That's not bad. You know, I asked the prior to the game tonight. Subbing in at his usual time for Mike Conley. Trying to keep Conley fresh for the postseason. And nice move by Trent Forrest, the winningest player. Portland, obviously, somewhat overmatched and also undersized. They don't have a ton of size right now. Well, the biggest player is Josh Hart bullies his way to the basket. Forrest out top. Blazers in that 2-3 zone. Mitchell shredding it from downtown. It's 19-8. Look for right side the trailer. Here's Bogdanovich. Launching the three halfway down and out. O'Neal off the tip. You mean with uh, challenging yes. in the middle of the paint yes. and missing layups? Yes. yes. <laughs> with a punch at the other end. Left-handed. A knee injury. Went through COVID before that. But Coach Snyder says he's playing well, even though he's not shooting particularly well. Ben McLemore, a wing player like that. Mark, I think he's been absolutely outstanding. First and foremost, Daniel House plays with a little bit of an edge to him that I think is helpful as Rudy gets another offensive rebound. Yeah. Great put back. Great finish. Well, it, it wasn't that effective. We probably have to switch up a few more times. Um, we got to just try to slow this team down, throw them off, keep them out of their rhythm. But they did a good job. They had a good quarter. Macklemore gets it back. Lost it right to Ellaby, just the way they drew it up. <laughs> Ellaby, opportunistic right there. I feel like those Saturday games have been very yes. good. And the Bucks, obviously, at 41 and 25, one five straight mark. They're looking a little bit closer to the defending champs. A bumpy road along the way, then I'm fine with that if it ends up in us winning. And he says they want the same thing as Jordan Clarkson scores inside. Pick and rolls as frequently as the Jazz do and scores as much off them. Jordan Clarkson calling his own number that time with the left hand and the lead back up to 17. Really has a wonderful panoramic view of the world and very inclusive and inviting. It's quite fun right now for the Utah Jazz has them leading by 24. And that snaps the run. Well, Williams, how that burst. That yeah. is a nice looking move by the young man. You talked about it. Brian Smith has been an incredibly engaged donor. And he's won. Kicks it to Mitchell. Three pointer on the way. Got it. It took some convincing. Mitchell up top. Well, the other end of the alley. You come out the zone, you're playing the third most zone possessions in the league for a reason. But you know, if anybody's gonna you're gonna throw challenges at somebody, you know, his contemporaries will tell you one of the best leaders uh, on the respective teams he played for. Really go there. With a classy finish. And Chauncey Phillips has been through a lot more than most have in a short period of time. Bogdanovich from the corner. Corner off the shot. Right corner threes. And it's 61 to 30. Nice move by you, Ben. Good touch, good footwork. Minnesota, here's Conley. Bogdanovich. Through the contact. Tough finish. By Bogdanovich. Seven on the shot clock. Off the Eubank screen and makes it count. They're without Anthony Simons and Yusuf Nurkic. A 
Bucket good by Brandon Williams. And so far tonight, he's got six. Now think about it, Mark. You know, nice, nice spin finish. And the putback by Bogdanovich. This is all about opportunity and being able to not just impress the brain trust of the teams you're on, but people around the league. Royce O'Neal with an impressive baseline three. Uh, is a little intriguing because that could potentially be a first round opponent. Connolly kicks it out to Bogdanovich. That's the corner office he likes working from. For that squad, Nico Harrison, the general manager, pulling the trigger on that deal. It's really hard. And speaking of pulling the trigger, Bogdanovich with another three and Chauncey Billups. And O'Neal back quickly the other way. Gobert running the floor. Has position underneath. But Mitchell wide open and he lights the three. Looks like you're playing your normal rotation still. I imagine through the third quarter that will hold if you're Quinn Snyder. Trent Forrest and Hassan Whiteside getting ready to check in. Rebuilding this roster and positioning them for the future. And one of the big decisions they have coming up is it's about target practice now for Bogdanovich, another three. Significant five bruise. Uh, and he said that he wants, sorry, goes. he said that he wants to stay in Portland. That Portland's home for him. That's the godfather. And his uh, loyalty right now in sports is almost unrivaled. You talk about Dan Bogdanovich with another long ball. The 41, and boy, did we miss watching him play with the various injuries he's had to battle this year. Hard underneath with the reverse. He can play with the ball, without the ball. He can slide into open areas. He can make a appropriate pass off a post option. Wow, that looked like bowling underneath. Look at all the pins that fell. It comes in many forms, but I love that initiative. White side underneath. Williamson punches it home over Johnson. That was like stealing. Jamal Murray, I'm betting that he's back. I don't have any kind of inside information, or maybe I do, but I think he's going to be back. You see those kicks. No whistle at the other end, and it's four on four. White side walking up at the other You know, when you talk about Donovan Mitchell's leadership, as LB knocks down the three. So pulling for Ben to step between the lines and have success. Because the last time we saw him, you know, the, the, the confidence wasn't there. He the yeah, still has family in that New York area where his father's from. So for what it's worth, there's a little built-in support. No. No, just no. no good. Just like that Johnson jumper looked good. Out of Toronto. Gets it back. Cross-court find. A little ball movement there. Butler cashes out with the three. I'll tell you what's what's going to be a fascinating outcome. Nice pass. Giannis does it at defensive end too. Just I don't know if he's done it as consistently I, I, or has been as dominant. I, don't know I could he, be wrong. I don't know that he has a longer body at work than Nikola Jokic. And he has, for most of the season, carried his team literally to what the third best record in the NBA. Butler with a slick jumper. Right. And, and this one has actually been done for a minute. You probably figured that out. 123 to 85 is the Jazz. Notch their 41st win of the.